Pittsburgh has long been a leader in groundbreaking health care, from Dr. Jonas Salk and his team developing the polio vaccine to Dr. Thomas Starzl's work on organ transplantation. And now Pittsburgh is leading the way in a new form of medicine called telehealth. As Megan Schiller explains, it's kind of like the old doctor house calls, but with a modern twist. Hi, Mr. Stratton, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Great. This is how cancer patient Douglas Stratton now has appointments with his oncologist. Not in his doctor's office, instead on this screen. It's called telehealth. Think of it as a virtual checkup. When uh, they brought it up to me, it wasn't a hard decision. Uh, it's a much more convenient. Douglas is sitting in a virtual cancer center in Altoona while his doctor, Vita Passero, is at the VA hospital here in Pittsburgh. Douglas gets the same care as he would in person. Usually I take a look at his skin, maybe take a look in his mouth. We have a digital camera. But it means he no longer has to drive 100 miles just to see the doctor. What we know is it's cheaper for the patients and the family and caregivers. What we're looking right now is return on investment. Veterans in and around Pittsburgh are some of the first in the nation to reap the benefits of telehealth, and it works in a few different ways. Uh, Dr. Prisera talked to you guys about CVT, which is um, telehealth to another VA facility, but we also have VVC where we can do a virtual appointment to their home. A veteran can dial in using anything with a front-facing camera for an appointment without ever leaving their home. And here's the best part, the VA will provide free iPads if you don't already have one. People are going to be able to save time and money and spend more time with their family instead of traveling to appointments. In just the past year, veterans like Douglas have used the telehealth technology 35,000 times. You can ask her any questions that you have or that you that have been brewing since the last time you talked to her? Yeah, usually I uh, kind of jot down a list of everything that happened uh, from the previous month. Right. Just kind of have a conversation back and forth. And if it works for our veterans, why not also for our children? This is a camera that's on a cart, so that allows us to talk face-to-face -to, -face to each other real time. It's Inside this tech suite on the fifth floor at UPMC Children's Hospital, so Dr. Justin Ye video chats daily with a medical team a thousand miles away. They ground with us and work with our patients and um, really great here at St. Joe's Children's in Tampa. He monitors nearly a dozen kids' heart rhythms and oxygen levels using this screen. Children in Florida with complex heart issues that need his expertise. We also actually have cameras in the rooms where we get permission from the family so that I can actually see into the room. And for the kids in Pittsburgh, the hospital's head of digital health says, why not try it out? What we're looking to do is to reduce the stress of illness on families. He's encouraging parents to ask the doctors at UPMC Children's about these new virtual appointments. All of these things are making the delivery of care much easier and actually to some extent safer. It is important to ask your provider about the digital setup because it can differ from doctor to doctor. The little kids at Children's Hospital, parents can often use an app on their phone for virtual appointments. And for veterans, ask your specific doctor about getting that free iPad. They'll order one and ship it to your home. They do not have them at the front desk to hand out. All new ways that Pittsburgh is using technology to make your life easier. Megan Schiller, KDK News.